I'm Caleb McGill, and this is your UT10 Sports Report. The Rockets men's basketball team went in Tuesday's matchup as the number one seed in the MAC. But first, the Bowling Green's women's basketball team took the drive up by 75 to take on the Rockets, who also won the game in first place. In front of a crowd of over 5,000 fans, the home team did not disappoint in the battle of I-75. Freshman forward Jessica Cook got the Rockets on the board first, and even though BG matched with two points of their own, there was no looking back for the midnight blue and gold because before you knew it, the Rockets had a 15-8 lead on the Falcons. Toledo went on an 8-2 run to start the second quarter, and junior guard Quinesha Lockett was unleashed, completely taking over the game with 11 straight points for the Rockets. She would end the night with 24. UT was able to take a 12-point lead into the half, leading BG by a score of 35-23, thanks in part because of this connection right here, right down the line to Lockett right there. An 11-4 run to start the second half for the Rockets helped them to extend their lead to 21. The Falcons did go on a little bit of the run of their own, though, trimming the lead that the Rockets had 53-37. However, the Rockets scored nine more points to end the quarter, taking a 63-41 lead into the fourth. Scores from junior center Hannah Novoroski and Jessica Cook extended the Rockets' lead 69-41 to start the quarter, and junior guard Sophia Wired put her finishing touches on the game scoring one from beyond the arc late. UT beat the Crosstown rivals by an astounding 29 points with a final score of 80 to 51, getting the season sweep against Bowling Green. The men's team for the Rockets may have gone in Tuesday's game with the best seed in the MAC, but that did not scare the Golden, Kent State Golden Flashes. Heading into Tuesday's matchup, the Rockets had not lost a home game yet this season, but Kent State would prove to be a tough matchup. A six-point run early in the contest, led by junior guard Ray J. Dennis, helped to put the Rockets up 9-6 early. However, the Rockets went nine minutes without scoring a field goal, and the Golden Flashes capitalized going on a 19-2 run. The two squads went back and forth, with each team going on separate runs of their own heading into intermission, but Kent State still at that, led at the half 36-20. An angry Rockets team came out hot to start the second half, scoring seven of the first nine points. But Kent State was still able to maintain a sizable lead throughout the entire second half, and they won't even blink. Even when a triple from freshman guard Raheem Moss shortened the Flash's lead to only 10 points with still 11 minutes left in the, half, or in the game. Golden Flashes would answer right back, scoring seven unanswered points, giving them their largest lead of the night. Rockets tried to fight back, but 10 points would be the closest that they would get within the Flashes, with Kent State defeating Toledo by a final score of 72-59. With this loss, the Ohio Bobcats replaced the Rockets as a top seed in the MAC. Both teams will be back in Savage Arena this Saturday, February 19th, with the men women's basketball team playing Ball State at 2 p.m. and the men's playing Central Michigan at 7 p.m. before the two teams will be on the road next week.